Weather conditions are expected to be difficult in the northwestern territories over the next few days as crews continue to battle wildfires. Yellowknife is still under evacuation orders, but city starts plan for safe return bringing some hope. Critical infrastructure is not yet impacted by the fires in the northwestern territories, federal ministers say. In the last 24 hours, two new fires in the remote Sahatu region have started in the territory bringing the total to 238. After a brief break in the weather over the weekend, which saw some rain across the territory, firefighters are preparing for the worst. Dry heat is expected for many communities on Tuesday, which is a concern for areas like Fort Smith. The small community of just over 2,000 near the Alberta border is expecting a high of 27. At a press conference Monday evening, a fire information officer said, when there is extreme drought, flames can seep underground, burning through root systems. Mike Westwick said, with the drought conditions that we are facing there, our fire behavior analysts determined that it would take about 60 mm of rain over a 10-day period on this fire to bring levels of moisture back to the normal level. At the cabinet retreat in Prince Edward Island, Energy and Natural Resources Minister Jonathan Wilkinson said the fires in the NWT have not impacted power lines. He said, My understanding is that, by and large, a lot of the critical infrastructure has not been affected. We are certainly working very actively with provinces and territories and keeping on top of that to ensure that if there are risks to that, we are doing everything we can to address those. Minister of Indigenous Services Peri Haidu addressed how the fires have been impacting communities in the territory saying the government is ready to respond to the needs of evacuees. She said it really is all hands on deck of the multiple government agencies working together to ensure evacuees have money, benefits and access to important documents. Despite evacuation orders still in effect, the federal government is in talks with the NWT on a plan to bring people back. Dan Vandal, Minister of Northern Affairs, said there is no timeline in place for when evacuees can return home. More than 300 personnel, including the Canadian Armed Forces, are assigned to the fires threatening the territory's capital.